nerds, hi yogis, Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a half moon flow. So we'll start with kind of a half half moon, move into a full half moon and that will be our yoga flow for the day. To start though, we're going to warm up of course. So we'll start in ankle to knee pose. This is a great way to start warming up the hips gently um, because we will definitely be working those in the half moon pose. So come to ankle to knee pose. I've got my right leg on top. And we'll just start with gentle breath here. So inhale, deep to the belly, warm and wide in everything. Exhale through the nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale here. Feeling your lower belly expand and exhale, squeezing everything in and out. Getting the arms involved, so moving the breath throughout our body. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Getting into our side body, our obliques. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. It's a great warm up for the entire side body. Really starting to activate uh, all the muscles along the spine. One more time to each side. This time, inhale to center, exhale, hands come to the heart in namaste. And we'll just inhale, wave the spine long and start to wave yourself forward, folding over your right leg. Or I should say both of your legs rather. And we'll keep doing that waving motion. Not going all the way to the floor just yet. Again, we're starting to just warm up here. So letting our body know that we're getting active, that we're moving, we're gonna start stretching. Inhale, wave the spine long one more time and roll yourself in and up. And switch sides. Awesome, so again, getting into our hips, letting those start to activate and get warm for the practice to come. So starting with your breath, inhaling, exhale. Timing that breath again, just in case it went anywhere. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Keeping that breath with you the whole time as you inhale, reach up, exhale, twist, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale, getting into our side muscles again. Last time on each side. Inhale, exhale. This time as you inhale, reach up, hands come to heart center, namaste. Inhale, wave the spine tall as you fold yourself forward, waving side to side. Gently telling your body to start waking up. Letting gravity do most of the work for us. Inhale, wave the spine one more time and roll yourself in and up. Awesome job. From here, we're gonna do quick ab workout. So fingertips behind you just to get our core warmed for this practice as well. So inhale, legs extend long. We'll come onto our right hip and do one hip twist. So exhale here, inhale, come to center, exhale onto the left hip, back to center, Keep your breath going through here, make it a little more active. Alternating from rolling onto the right hip to the center and the left hip. Moving a little quickly while we're doing this, getting deep into our core and activating our fast switch muscles a little bit more than we do in some of the normal yoga poses. And one last time to the center, hold it here. Inhale, reach up and fold yourself forward in your goddess pose or butterfly pose. Knees are open wide. Again, letting gravity most of the, do most of the work here. They're just floating towards the, the ground. Inhale, exhale. 
exhale, fold a little bit deeper, starting to warm up our inner thighs, which we're going to use a lot in this pose as well. Awesome. Walk yourself back up. And from here, make your way into your downward facing dog. So make sure when you're doing that, you're planting your fingertips really firmly into the earth and then pressing yourself back into your down dog. Waving the spine long, making sure that you have space for your neck and your shoulders, so you're not crushing your neck into your shoulders like this or it hanging down really deep, anything like that. You want to have a strong, open pose. And you can pedal out the feet, walk the dog, whatever you want to call it, starting to warm up the backs of the legs. And we'll do one dog to plank wave, moving that energy forward. So bend everything, knees and elbows getting close to the earth. Wave yourself forward, coming into a plank. Lower just a little bit and exhale back to down dog. Very nice. And then we'll do that again, but this time as a full vinyasa. So bending everything, waving yourself forward, coming onto your knees. This time lowering to the earth through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to down dog. Awesome. So from here, we're going to slight bend in the knees and elbows as you inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to chest for core plank one. Inhale, lift up. Exhale for core plank two. Inhale up. Exhale, core plank three. Step that right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend the back knee. You want to have good momentum for this as you roll yourself in and up all the way to your high lunge. Awesome. You're going to inhale here, prepare, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend both knees for a fist of fire lunge. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale last time. Inhale here, hands come out long. You're going to reach them out in front of you, wider than the shoulders. And from here, bending your back leg, bring your back knee into your chest. So this is where I said we'll do our half-half moon. So we're going to start with a really miniature-sized half moon, really close to the earth, just starting to warm up the body, letting it know what we're getting prepared for. So it's bending, staying close to the earth, Left arm comes up and we're just going to circle here. Again, staying really close to the earth. We're not coming into a full extension of the pose. Circling down, opening up to your, your half pose. You can even keep your right knee bent if that feels good for you. Make your way back down towards the earth, coming into a low lunge. Left hand plants onto the earth. We're going to circle the right arm up and straighten that front leg to that first edge of stretch. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, circling down and back. Inhaling back up into that stretch. Circle down. Inhale up. Last time, circling down. Coming up into that reverse triangle. From here, right hand comes down to meet the earth. And just fold over that right leg. You can even bend the knee here. Exhale, getting some movement in that front leg. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale last time. Exhale. Wave the spine long, folding over that leg. Perfect. Then from here, bending the front knee, planting your hands firmly into the ground, stepping back into your plank, come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, wave yourself in and up, and exhale, back to your downward dog. Awesome. Feel the difference we've made on that right side already, just from one little vinyasa flow. All right, from here, a little bend in the knees and elbows as you inhale. Inhale, left leg comes to the sky. Exhale, knee comes to chest for core plank one. Inhale here. Exhale. Remember to bend your knees and elbows to give you 
more room and more momentum and step the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare, bending the back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. Inhale, stretch all the way up to the sky, exhale, fist of fire lunges. Inhale here, exhale. Last time, inhale here, exhale. Reach your arms out in front of you. Arms or fingertips come wider and your shoulders, so you want it way out wide. Bend the back knee, bring it into your chest. Both knees are bent. And from here, open up the hips to the right. And again, you can extend the right leg just a little bit coming into your half, half moon. Right arm reaches up to the sky and we'll do some mini circles here. Again, staying close to the earth, warming that up. Exhale. Awesome job from here. Come back to your forward thunder hip position. Right leg comes back. Right arm plants onto the earth underneath your shoulder. Left arm lifts to the sky. And from here, the left leg extends to that first bone of stretch. And exhale, circling everything down to the earth. So bending everything and then extending back up. Exhale. Come back up. Last time, exhale here. Hold this stretch for a couple of breaths. And fold yourself over that front leg. Again, you can bend the knee. Exhale back. As you bend, you're getting a bit of a hip flexor stretch on the opposite leg. Inhale. Exhale. Just Fold over that leg, wave the spine long, finding that edge of stretch. Perfect. Bending that front knee, planting your fingertips strongly onto the earth, step back into your plank, come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up, and exhale back to down dog. All right, now for our super adventure, we're gonna do the full half moon. So inhale here, bend your knees, right leg lifts to the sky, exhale for core plank one, inhale up, exhale two, inhale up last time, step the right knee to the right thumb, inhale here, prepare long spine, bending the back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. Extend everything to the sky, straight, exhale, bending everything for your fists to fire lunges. Exhale, last time here, exhale, this time inhale, reach your arms out long, fingertips plant wide. So right fingertips are wider than your shoulder, a little diagonal from the foot. Bend your back leg and bring it into your chest. Now we're going to build our half moon pose in a very healthy way. So we're going to start with our bent limbs. So bent limbs here, then open your hips to the left. So with bent limbs. From here, wave your spine long. Make sure you have nice long spine, nice aligned, long, aligned hip. And then you can see where your leg stretches. Arm unfurls to the sky last. Make sure you are pressing into the sky with your left foot as strongly as you are pressing into the ground. And we'll circle this for an added challenge. So exhale down, inhale up, exhale. Not only does this add added strength and challenge, it also reminds us to rebuild our pose from the ground up. Awesome. Now from here, square your hips. Keep the left leg lifted. We're going to do a reverse half moon. So left fingertips are wide. Pressing out through the left foot, pressing out into the earth with the right foot, long spine, and then twist the right arm. So twisting to the right and circling this one. So circle everything down, coming back out to the pose, circling it down. Extend into the pose and last time here, circling back into the pose. Hold this for a moment. Exhale. Folding over that front leg, coming into a forward split. 
wave the spine long. You can find a comfortable position for your leg. You can play around with opening the hips, squaring the hips off, whatever is most comfortable in this stretch for you. Just find what feels good here and then exhale, making your way back to that forward lunge, planting your fingertips onto the earth, stepping back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in it up and exhale. Woo, feels good on that side, doesn't it? But we do have two sides, so we will try it on the other. So, little bend to the earth, inhale, left leg lifts, Exhale for core plank one, inhale up, exhale, inhale last core plank, step your left foot to your left thumb, inhale here prepare, bending the back knee, rolling yourself in and up to high lunge, we'll do those fist of fire lunges quick, exhale, and last one here, inhale reach forward, Hands plant wide, bending the back knee and stepping yourself forward. So right knee comes into the right chest, both knees are bent. Now from here again, start with your hips rotating, rotating to the side, getting the good hip alignment, wave the spine long, then see where that leg stretch is. And you can start with the top leg, get that straight, and then see where the bottom leg stretches. It doesn't have to be straight, you want to find that edge of stretch and work towards it. And then very last, right hand extends towards the sky. If you want that added challenge, you circle it to the earth and rebuild the pose. Circling down, coming back up, and last time circling towards the earth and extending out, pressing long through all of your limbs. Now folding forward, not quite forward, but back to center. And again, find long spine, press at the top leg, then find where your leg position is on the standing leg, whether it's straight or slightly bent, doesn't matter. Just do what is right for you. And then left fingertips come to the sky as you twist to the left and circle that. Awesome, and one last time here, and then hold this stretch for another moment before you exhale, fold into your forward splits. Weave the spine long, find a comfortable position for the leg that's in the air, and find where you are on the spectrum of the standing leg. Perfect, making your way back into your plank, coming onto your knees, lowering through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to your downward facing dog, pedaling out your feet again, noticing all of the energy and strength that you built with that short flow, we'll do one more vinyasa here, so bending everything close to the earth, waving yourself forward to plank, coming onto your knees, Lowering through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rolling in and up. And exhale back to your down dog. Now from here, you can walk your feet forward and gently make your way onto your back for your final resting pose. Now your knees into your chest. Circle in one direction and the other if that feels good. Now we did a lot of uh, stretching while we were strengthening today. So we're just gonna go right into Shavasana. You can even do a goddess Shavasana. So your feet together, knees out wide. Or you can come into a, you know, a normal corpse pose Shavasana with your legs out long, whatever feels good to you today. And of course, take a yogi's choice moment if there's any stretches that you still feel like you need, absolutely do those. Otherwise, I do hope that you enjoyed that practice and that you take all of that strength and grounding that we did. And remember, in everything that you do, to start from the ground up. 
you know, build your foundation first and then go from there. So it works in yoga poses, works in all the other stuff we gotta do. So I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you get all of the updates for all the new uh, flows that I have for you. And then of course, I've got exclusive content for you on my email list, so make sure you're on that as well. Namaste.